time to go racing in the B final for the TKM Extreme Class sponsored by Talco. Here at the 2018 Teng Tools Shannington Super Prix. My name's Andrew Mather from Double Dash Motorsport Media. Do hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Here's your grid for the TKM Extreme B final. Jack Tartan and Gary Fowler on row one. Byron Brown and Chris Goffin on row two. Adam Croft, Davies and Zach Bowen on row three. Uh, you're in Francis Jones and Ethan Herford on row four. Adrian Smith and Megan Lawson on row five. Lee Harrison and Mitchell Ball on row six. And Monty Gorringe and Tony Cazigul on the seventh row. Away we go then for racing here at Shennington in this B final. Everyone's through the first couple of corners very cleanly. And straight into the lead goes Jack Darton ahead of uh, the number 18 there of Zach Bowen. So Zach Bowen has a very good start. Oh, and out. Out straight away is the 79. I think that's the 79 of Byron Brown. Well, that's a real shame for him. Uh, no, sorry, it's the... I will confirm it on timing as it comes through. Uh, but a move for the lead there, I think that was. By Chris Goffin. Well, uh, no, it's not, not by Chris Goffin, by Zach Bowen. So Zach Bowen straight into the lead. He's gone from sixth on this grid to lead the B final in one lap. What a start that was. And now can Zach Bowen start to control this race? Already a group of three pulling away from the rest of the field. Bowen, Dart and Goffin. Uh, they should start working together now to secure their A final spots. Uh, Byron Brown is still there in fourth place. Uh, follows him, still not sure who the driver pulling their cart off was. There's nobody actually on my timing screen who was who's off the pace. Uh, Lee Harrison going quickly though. He's just completed his second lap with a 45.2, trying to close in now on Byron Brown. You can see them there, just briefly in the back of your shot, battling over fourth place. Still at the front, Zach Bowen, Jack Darton, first and second, Chris Goffin following there in third. And oh, it's, it is the 75. I haven't actually got a 75 on my timing uh, at the moment. Apologies. But, uh, it probably is Gary Fowler. So Gary Fowler in the, uh, the Alonso cart. Unfortunately, his race is run. Change for fourth. Lee Harrison goes into fourth place on that last lap and sets a 45.06. So he's absolutely flying. He took uh, seven tenths of a second out of Byron Brown whilst overtaking him. And I would say at this stage of the race, he's got the pace to close in on this top three. Now, the question is, does he drag anybody with him? Byron Brown not able to hold that pace. Uh, Francis Jones, Herford, Croft, Davies and Ball all trying to follow. Now the key for these top three drivers is not fighting too much with Lee Harrison. I reckon Lee Harrison has the pace at the moment to overhaul these three drivers. Change for the lead, though. Zach Darton has gone to the front of the field there in that move through Wilkins. So Jack Darton to the front, Zach Bowen second, Chris Goffin third. They have now been caught by Lee Harrison. There he is, 45.13 last time around. So quicker than these three drivers. At the moment, this would be your one, two, three, four to go through to the A final. And join the back of that TKM Extreme A final grid. Up the inside, for third place goes Lee Harrison, passes Chris Goffin with a textbook maneuver into Wilkins. But good driving there from Chris Goffin as well. Zach Bowen hits the front of the field once again on that last lap. Confirmed on timing. So Zach Bowen and Jack Darton trading this lead back and forth. But at the moment, I don't see them being able to do anything about stopping Lee Harrison flying through, given the pace that Lee Harrison has got, or is at least shown in the early stages of this race. Down the hang 
straight through the hand corner into Wilkins. Now we can particularly imagine. Look how much time Lee Harrison is gaining in Wilkins. He's very, very strong in that part of the circuit. Very good on the brakes. He's just pulled in another couple of tenths on the two leaders. I think now realise that Lee Harrison is on a bit of a charge here. Two and a quarter minutes of this B final to go in TKM Extreme. Down the straight into the chicane once again. Can Lee Harrison get past these two drivers? He doesn't ne necessarily need to get past these two drivers. He's still going to get into the A final. Up the inside again goes Jack Darton. And that's offered the chance to Harrison to go through as well. So Lee Harrison now up into second place. Zach Bowen down to third. So Jack Darton definitely wants to control this race. That's two times now he's taken the lead. Now does he follow Lee Harrison? Lee Harrison looks down the inside on the brakes. Beautiful move. Zach Bowen's going to go back through though. Into second place. There's more battling further down the field. But yes, Lee Harrison has taken the lead. I think Zach Bowen has followed him through into second place. And Jack Darton is now down to third. However, still all three of them, plus Chris Goff in there in fourth, all going through to the A final. I wouldn't be too worried right now if I was one of these four drivers. And in fact, could uh, Zach Bowen and Jack Darton now be pulled along by Lee Harrison? Having Lee Harrison, the fastest driver on track so far at the front of this field is probably not a bad idea, but Zach Bowen's going to go down the inside and retake the lead into st the Stratford hairpin. Jack Darton wasn't able to capitalise on that and slip down the inside himself and retake second place. A good move that by Zach Bowen back into the lead. This quartet now three and a half seconds clear of Byron Brown in fifth place. There'll be this lap plus one more. 15 seconds to go as the drivers cross the line. Zach Bowen continues to lead. Now, will Lee Harrison try for a move down into the heaven once again? He's having a little look for it. He's going down the inside. He's side by side. And that's a brilliant maneuver by Lee Harrison back into the lead. They're just having fun with this now. This is great clean racing between this quartet. We've had Bowen in the lead. We've had Harrison in the lead. We've had Darton in the lead. Chris Goffin has done a really good job just to stay there in fourth. Doesn't want to get too involved in all of this as the carts go on to the final lap of this B final for TKM Extreme, sponsored by Talco. Lee Harrison is your leader, but this is the spot on the circuit where we've seen the lead change hands so many times so far in the last eight or so minutes. Harrison's going to go defensive down the inside, does not want to lose this B final victory. Now, can he power out the corner? He might have been a little bit compromised. That's good, good driving from Lee Harrison. He's just got to block it down the inside into Wilkins and he will take this B final win. Has a little check over the shoulder, but look at the 93 of Jack Darton. He's trying to get involved in there. All these four drivers should go through, but they all want to be the driver that wins the race. But Lee Harrison's going to come around the final corner. Lee Harrison drives through from the 11th on the grid to win the B final. What a drive that is. Zach Bowen takes second place. Third place for Jack Darton. Fourth place for Chris Goffin. They're all through to the A final. Fifth place for Byron Brown. Sixth place for Yaron. Francis Jones, 7th for Ethan Herford, 8th Mitchell Ball, 9th Adam Croft Savies, 10th Monty Gorringe, 11th Adrian Smith and 12th Megan Lawson. Well, we'll see the TKM Extreme sponsored by Talco Class later at the end of the day. Uh, we're going to move on now to the A-Finals and start with Ayami Cadet in, uh, in just a moment's time.